Okay, this is going to be a quick continuation of earlier's FSUA in Workbench install setup guide. Uh, at the end of that video, I said I'm going to help you uh, set up WHD load games within Workbench. And this is really easy, I thought, really, so I thought I'd help some people out there do this. So, uh, first of all, we need to go into the FSUAE directory, and your games, your WHD load games, are going to go into the directory, hard drives. And in hard drives, if you follow the guide earlier on, you're going to get another folder inside this, what's called a subfolder, and this is software. Inside software, you've got a games folder. And if you've got a number of games or you've got fairly little games, then I recommend creating a folder uh, A to Z and put your games inside each one of these. So for this setup guide, I've just downloaded a few games in uh, G. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to set these up. So first of all, we need to extract these. If you try scanning these once we're in FSUA Workbench, it's not going to scan them. It's not going to recognize. So you need to highlight your games and you need to extract them. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to literally extract just five games just here. So I'm going to highlight these, right click, WinRAR, and extract here. So you're going to get... A few different folders come out, one for each game, and you're also going to get a .info file. So these just here, these zip files, you no longer need these, so we can delete these. So that's it, and then inside of each one of these folders is the game content. So obviously WHD loads are uh, compressing many different files, many different game disks into one as we can see here this game has two discs but that's where whd load works best you don't have to keep swapping and changing the discs so once you've done this we're going to go back to workbench again so go to start so once we're back into workbench which we set up earlier on what we're going to do is just right click on the desktop and i'm going to go to run whd load and iGame. So once we're here, what we're next going to do is just head up towards the top of the screen, right click, and if we go to settings, game repositories, and we're going to add. So I'm going to go to folder, and from here, parent button means backwards. So instead of back, uh, you know, so where it is, this is parent, and this is going to take you into the folder before the folder you're in. So folder again, sorry, parent again and parent again and i'm looking for that software directory where i've just extracted my games and it was obviously in a software folder which is here and if i go to the games drawer and the few games i just extracted for this setup guide to show you how to do this was in the g directory so if i just go to g and i'm going to press ok so we're next going to press add and as you can see, this has now added the category, the letter rather, G. So next up, what we're going to do is just close down game repositories. And if I go back to the top of the screen and press right click, I'm going to go to actions and scan repositories. Let go of right click on that one. And as you can see, it's now scanning my repositories. So, as you know, uh, iGame comes with a few games with this installation. So, just give this a little while. Obviously, if you've got many, many, many games, this is going to take you a little while to do it. And also bear in mind that some games will require extra Kickstart ROMs, which you can buy over on Mega Forever. So, once it's finished scanning, I'm going to find my G games. Just here. So we've got Gadgets Lost in Time, Game Force, and so on. If I just click on Gadgets Lost in Time, double left click, and it opens up automatically into WHD loads, where to quit this game to press F10 is needed. Now, hopefully, I forgot to mention earlier on, but I'm going to mention it now. If you want your controller configured, you're going to have to follow my FSUA setup guide, and you'll find out how to do that there. But as you can see, mine's working, and it works fine. So, no idea what this game is. I've literally just got this one for this setup guide.
So obviously to exit those WHD loads games as it says it's normally F10. If I try another one, uh, say Galactic Empire, whatever this is, again we got F10 to quit. So I'm going to just quit out of that one straight away and quit. And that's it, but like I said, I uploaded the setup guide earlier on, and um, it's a fantastic system once you get this one set up. But I thought a lot of people out there might want this ASAP rather than just having Workbench installed. What's the point? You need to play some games. So here it is. So um, anyway, stay retro.